today we're going to look at place value. This time I'm going to use place value counters to help me. Here we have ones counters to represent the ones, tens counters to represent the tens, and hundreds counters to represent the hundreds. There are only ten different digits, but with these ten digits we can make any number we want depending on where in the number the digit is positioned. The position of a digit in a number tells us the value of that number. I am going to use my place value counters to show you how the value of the digit 4 changes depending on where in the number it is positioned. If the number is 4 I need to put 4 in the ones column and can represent it using 4 ones counters. In this first number, the 4 has a value of 4. Here the number is 45. I need 4 tens to represent the 40. And 5 ones to represent the ones. In this number, the 4 has a value of 40 because it is 4 tens. The number this time is 432. I need 400 to represent the 400. Three tens to represent the tens. And two ones to represent the ones. In this number, the four has a value of 400 because it has 400. We can also represent numbers using the part whole model. Here we have the number 524. I'm going to show how it can be represented using the part whole model and on a baseboard. I am making the number 524, so I need to start with the 5. In this number it is worth 500, so I will need 5 100 counters. digit is 2 and as it is in the tens column I will need two tens so 2 here has a place value of 20. The third digit is 4 as it is in the ones column I will need four ones. The 4 here has a place value of 4. Now I'm going to show you how to represent 524 on a baseboard. The value of 5 here is 500, so I am going to put 500 counters in the hundreds column. The value of the 2 is 20, so I am going to put 2 tens counters in the tens column. And the value of the 4 is 4, so I'm going to put 4 ones counters in the ones column. Once you are happy showing the numbers using the counters, you can draw them. I'm going to start by sketching counters on the part whole model. The 5 has a place value of 500, so I'm going to draw 5 100 counters. The 2 has a value of 20, so I'm going to draw two tens counters. The 4 has a place value of 4, so I'm going to draw four ones counters. Now I'm going to sketch the counters on a baseboard. The 5 has a place value of 500, so I'm going to draw 5 100 counters. The 2 has a place value of 20, so I'm going to draw 2 tens counters. And the 4 has a place value of 4, so I'm going to draw 4 ones counters. I hope you'll find that useful.
useful. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a video with something new every week. See you soon. Bye!